对。What is this? He was the one who brought in the soldiers. What a fool he was, right up to the very end. Muse. <sighs> Lila, quickly, heal her. <gasps> Are you all right? Sense malevolence, but it's not too late. If I still have my life to give, what are you doing? Don't try to move. Please, dear Seraph, I need to. I must do this. I want to give the world reason to hope, even should it cost me my life. But why? Because I believe. I believe that the children raised by Seraph Zenrus will one day grow to become a shepherd and his companion. I believe they will lead us to hope for the future, a bright future where humans and Seraph can live hand in hand. And that is your answer. Please, my staff. Your wish, and I know it will surely come true. Thank you. Miklio. I... I'm so sorry. I'm fine. I'm sure we'll find Zenris just up ahead. And our missing Maltellus as well. Not to mention Catface. Let's get it on! Yeah. Everyone, let's do this! The prologue to the final act, huh? Lord Heldoff, my master. Can these people truly be stained with the colors you desire? But then, it is my job to see that they are. What? We were just... Yeah. Must be Simone. Definitely. Hmm. I wonder what she's playing at. Let's stay on guard. Fire! Here goes! Open the way forward! 
This is Simone's doing. Yeah. yeah. We don't have any time to lose. Let's blow through this one. You got it! This is pointless! Knock it off! But we won't let that stand in our way. Drag you down! Drag you down! Mail Shade Zero! That's the way! Aim and fire! Here it goes! Open the way for it! Here it goes! Fight it for it! More creepy clones? Lame. Looks like you're running out of my... Lila, it would be tough for a Seraph to withstand this much malevolence without a vessel, wouldn't it? Huh? I yes The Seraph would have a difficult time wielding his powers. I thought so. I guess she's running out of ideas for what kind of illusions to make. Looks like- Get. But let's proceed with caution. Yeah. The most important thing is to keep calm in these kinds of situations.
you, Lilac and Nat! So tell me, why are they called vampires? Well, don't they suck your blood? Once it bites you, and they never let you go. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Did you know that? Oh, please. We're not so dumb as to fall for that garbage. Simone, are you getting desperate? You go to hell! Afraid that we'll defeat Heldolf, huh? Never! You have no chance! Let's go! But Simone's just gonna throw more of her crap at us! I bet she will, but it won't be anything we need to worry about. Probably not. Even her illusions are starting to lose their spectacle. She can make passable imitations of Rose and Saray, sure, but it's looking like everything else is beyond her reach. Yeah, if she could scare us with anything she wanted, you'd think there'd be more guts and stuff. Spleens. Spleens? Anyway, let's keep moving forward. Right. We don't want to let her stall us here while we talk about how bad she is at her job. Yeah. She sure is trying. It's kind of getting annoying. But I feel like the effects of her technique are weakening. Simone... Could it be? Hmm... I should learn to ski. Huh? Why? Because hell froze over when you started using your head. It's okay, Rose. It's hard at first if you're not used to it. <laughs> Very funny! So that's what you think of me. <laughs> so, Rose, what was on your mind? Well, you know, we've beaten a whole bunch of Hellions. Those big old boss-type suckers. But I feel like I'm... Mm, missing something. Is it that you want to become stronger? More like... something that'll clinch the battle. I don't know if that's necessary. You're already plenty strong, Rose. <laughs> that's something only people who've lived on the battlefield will understand. That feeling when you know what you have to do, but you lack the confidence and the strength you'll need to do it. Knowing what you have to do. And getting confidence in your strength. Hmm. Rose, the desire for strength is one that can very easily breed malevolence. <sighs> Rose, like I said earlier, you don't have to do anything you're not used to. Remember back in the Tintagel Ruins? You listened to what I had to say, and then searched your feelings to come up with your answer. Someone like you, you don't need to think. 
just feel. Right? Huh. <laughs> Our Mickey's actually pulled together some good advice. Chalk me up as another vote. Yeah. Maybe it's time to go back to basics. Might as well. How about where we first met then? Lady Lake, wasn't it? Yeah. Even before we met Lila. Wow. You do make a beeline for the lady folk. Sounds good. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I see I needn't have worried. But I'm glad you did. Thank you, Lila. Of course. A dead end? What? But this was the only path! Another illusion. We can't waste any more time. I think we'll need to come up with a way to punch through her illusions. How? Illusions are not. They still punch back pretty good. I don't think the illusions will last much longer. Huh? Why not? Simone is a seraph. It's gotta be hard for her to maintain her powers in the middle of all this malevolence. Speak of the devil. For all the illusions I craft for you, your hearts refuse to budge the slightest inch. It seems I will need to take other measures. What, baton twirling? Submit yourselves! Simone, you must be so... Are you sympathizing with me? If you care so much, then succumb to the darkness! Never know a curtain. Simone, that's enough. Do you accept death? Wait, Shepard. <gasps> there it is. So that's your real face. <laughs> Let's go. I'm worried about Gramps. Oh, sure. It's already too late. Everything is lined up just as our Lord has planned it. And what? 
You think we're the types to just turn around and run home? Why must you fight back? The more you fight, the more you suffer. Why do you resist our Lord's vision? A world free of suffering, free of restraint. I know. I know you haven't forgotten that Wind Seraph, who gave his life for the burden of his sins. The answer he reached was that of revenge. Tell me, is that not the same goal our Lord shares? By denying our Lord, are you not denying him as well? Dezel did suffer, I know. But he made a decision and put everything toward achieving it. Yes, with the end goal of freedom from agony. But Dezel was... To resist and fight against one's own sins. Such foolishness is nothing less than the denial of the self. And for all that resistance and denial, all of the sacrifice, nothing awaits but an empty death. Simone, since you stopped resisting, have you ever felt truly alive? What? It is true that fighting back brings pain and suffering. But once you raise your head and take the first step toward your answer, wouldn't you think that is when life begins? At first, I'm sure, Dezel was trying to break free from his suffering. But even when he remembered his true past, did he curse the very sins you speak of? Did he despair and just give up? Oh, I see. So that's why in the end, Dezel was smiling. Why he was able to smile. Is that it, Lila? But what does that matter? If you don't reach the correct answer, you've got nothing to show for it but hollow contentment! And when did contentment become a bad thing? The goal is important, but that doesn't mean that the journey is not. Mere sophistry. Haven't you noticed by now? We're pressed for time, and yet here Lila is trying to do you a favor. Simone, remember what you asked me that one time? Should one who only brings misfortune be allowed to exist? Is that entity evil to the core and worthy of death? It wasn't a question that required an answer. But I'm answering it anyway. You don't have to think of yourself as evil. Or, uh, I mean, it's okay if you're evil. What? Uh, well, I mean, that's not quite what I really wanted to say. Like, uh, don't try to be eloquent. I think all kinds of people should live. Together, we can find the way for all of us to be happy. And so you too. <laughs> You don't understand. You don't even understand how cruel you are. You talk of happiness, yet even now you snatch it away from me. I have no reason to exist if I cannot work for the cause of our Lord. No reason at all. Ugh, will she not get it? Can I please punch her? <laughs> Let's go, Saray. Yeah. got her message across to her? She was listening. More than that, I cannot say. So this is Camelon.